Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have a very special treat for you. We have a 2017 Ford F-150 Shelby Super Snake. Haven't heard of one of these? Well, it could be because there were only 150 of them made in 2017. And we've got one of them live in captivity here in our showroom in Columbus. This is one big bad mean truck no doubt about it i tell you i've never seen another one of these out on the road other than this one and this is one intimidating vehicle as you can see we've left the back door open to our uh, warehouse whereas normally we can uh, get behind the vehicles that that we have here in the the photo bay to shoot this one goes all the way from the front of the mat to the back of the mat so i left the door open so we can get a nice walk around to the whole thing here you can see it is one long vehicle spacious oh yeah it is absolutely fantastic inside i cannot wait to show you how much room is in this and all the cool stuff that's going on in it first off a couple of notes uh, the Ford F-150 in 2017 was about a 65 66 thousand dollar vehicle all on its own and then it got sent off to Shelby to have this transformation take place, which brought it up to $5 under 100,000 back in 2017 dollars. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Shadow black is the color. You can see here it has a aftermarket hood put on by Shelby. And those are working breathers for the Ram Air because it is, that's right, supercharged and it will get up and move. This is a 750 horsepower vehicle, and it is mean. You can see here that the front bumper and the front grill all have the honeycomb racing grill on them, which is super cool looking. You can see down on the front chin spoiler, the Shelby name. You can see here on the grill, an official Shelby Super Snake emblem, 750 horses. Shelby across the hood. One thing Shelby's good about is making sure you know what they did. They got their name all over it. Down here we got fog lights, some more air intakes because you're going to need them to power all of that. You can see here in the front one of multiple cameras on the vehicle. It does have 360 degree camera views. Shelby also put the uh, the racing stripes on there from tip to, to tail. They run the whole length of the truck and give it a really nice look. As we move around the side here, I'll try and get wide enough for you to really get a look at it. You can see there are painted fender flares, both front and rear, make it look a little bit different than the regular F-150. 22 inch wheels chrome six spokes courtesy of shelby and we've got the awesome shelby snake in the center cap there we've got shelby red brake caliper covers and this of course is an abs truck with four wheel disc brakes all of them have those red caliper covers on them hand cook ventus tires the good stuff you can see here on the sides those are working air vents with a shelby on them and we've got some ground effects going on down on the rockers. Again, aftermarket Shelby stuff. These are power heated folding side mirrors on both sides. You can see the nice contour of the window there. And it is black as lustrous black can be. Paint job is so deep you just want to dive into it. It looks fabulous. As we head back to the rear, you can see the stripes do continue on down that tonneau cover. Got the same great wheel treatment in the back. And another Shelby logo. Wrap around tail lights. Kind of bring you right around the corner to the cool tailgate. And you can see that awesome exhaust sticking out. We'll get to more about that later. You'll see it's got Shelby logos on the tips, but it is a Shelby tuned Borla performance exhaust underneath there. And it sounds wicked good. You'll 
Let's see, of course, it's a truck with 750 horsepower. It definitely will tow and it has all kinds of towing amenities. Well, we're back here in the back. This is a keyhole, but I already have it unlocked. So I'm just gonna turn that and push open the tonneau cover. You can see there it has the Shelby bed rug, both on the cover and in the bed. And it has a car cover that actually fits this large truck. Now we'll put down the tailgate and I've got a cool little feature about the tailgate to show you. If you push this button, it brings out the step, which makes it easy to get in. And you can also put this bar up, which helps you just walk right up into there. As you can see, I'll put it there and walk right up into the truck. Super convenient. And it goes away and stores just as easily as it all gets put up. It's just that easy. And we'll shut it and lock it again. Perfect. Passenger side of the truck looks just as awesome as the driver's side. Not a nick in the paint, not a hair out of place. This is an absolutely gorgeous, almost showroom new vehicle. Only 26,000 miles logged on it, and those are pampered miles at that. This has been a garage this whole life, never driven in the rain or snow type vehicle. And it definitely shows. Now that we're back up front, I'll take one quick break. I'm going to pop around into the cabin and open this hood, and I'll be right back to show you what's going on underneath. And we are back with the hood open now. You can see looking up at the hood that those are actual air intakes up there. As we look across the engine bay, you can see the awesome supercharger is redone in uh, powder coating of Ford Blue. Same with the intake down there. And it is all packed in here rather tightly. Everything looks pretty, everything looks new. Looks like this just rolled off the factory assembly line, to be honest with you. As we roll around the side, you'll see this real nice and large carbon fiber intake. Definitely need that for that supercharger. Something's got to feed it. As we come around the side, we've got larger injectors in there. It's a 5.0 V8, so it's the standard engine that would appear in, uh, in one of these upscaled F-150s, but this one, has been boosted by Shelby with a uh, Shelby Performance Programmer tuned to 750. It's got the supercharger. It's got an aluminum heat exchanger. It's got the better plugs, better injectors. They've done a ton of work to this to really get that horsepower up from, I think it was about 385 factory on this engine and now we're hitting 750. So they've done a lot to accomplish that, no doubt. Up front, you'll see one of a couple of Shelby plates that appear on the truck. You'll see that it is basically number 85 in the production of 150. Plate inside on the passenger side of the dash has the same number on it. Let's go ahead and shut the hood. And now I can't wait to show you the inside. It is so roomy and beautiful in here. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Black and beautiful. We'll start with the door cards. I'm done with multiple materials of black and gray and a little bit of silver and chrome. This truck sports silver stitching both on the seats, the doors, the dash, it appears basically everywhere. Some carbon fiber accents. And the doors, as you might expect, have power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Uh, we have a three seat, or a three mode seat memory on here. Every door has a speaker, and every door has some nice caddies for storage as well. 
you'll see here as we look at the driver's seat it is power passenger seat power as well both of them are heated and cooled and exceedingly comfortable here's what i was talking about more of that beautiful stitching and leather that's just in excellent condition on both of the front seats the headrests are adorned with stitched super snake wording the same that appears down below on the custom floor mats as we hop up into this spacious cabin wow it's big up in here there is so much to look at it's almost overwhelming at first we'll try and hit all these items bit by bit uh, each door there's the passenger door they've got their own grab handle in the back there's a grab handle and same thing over on my side everybody gets a grab handle everybody has a courtesy light that comes on above their door too which is just awesome i'm gonna go ahead and get some air conditioning going in here it's 95 degrees in columbus ohio today and our showroom is toasty so i'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on the accelerator and start the engine that way we get a little bit of air in here and it's not so hot while we talk about this awesome truck see there the dash is digital it's all fired up everything's rocking and rolling all right first the dash top again a mixture of materials and it is in incredibly good condition no warp of course no cracks not at this age in great shape on the passenger side there's the interior shelby plaque i was mentioning to you before with the same number matching in the engine bay and the glove box here on passenger side has the original owner's manual in it. We also have the original window sticker for the F-150 and the Shelby sticker uh, for when they got done with their portion of the work on it. Over on the passenger's door, you'll see they have their own window and lock controls, as mentioned before, their own speaker. In the center, we have this incredibly cool Oh, you can see my sweat from my arm. It is hot in here. I'm so sorry, folks. Um, Shelby Snooper, Super Snake logo here. 750 horsepower again. Telling you all about it. This is a large, large container inside of here. You can see it has a sliding thing on top where you can keep change or fast grab items in. And here are the two documents I mentioned to you before. Shelby window sticker. And the F-150 window sticker. Both of those you'll find in here, and there are photographs of those in the advertisement once you take a closer look at it. All right, from the driver's vantage point, first, the steering wheel. It is telescopic and tilt. There's a button right here. Brings it in, brings it out, brings it up, brings it down. Very cool. It is leather wrapped. As you can see, it is heated as well. It contains an airbag. Horn works just as it should. You'll see here we have controls for the stereo system, controls for the phone, and it does have voice activated navigation. You'll see over here it has adaptive cruise control. And this set of controls is for the screen in the center here. Now, in here, there are multiple screens you can go through that will give you onboard diagnostics, trip computer, all kinds of great information about the truck while you're driving it. You can see there's oil pressure, water temperature, fuel, all the, all the displays right up above. 26,700 and some odd miles on it currently. And just to show you the tack works. Oh, that sounds nice. There we are. All right, keeping things moving. We have controls for the lights down here. As we move across to the center, we have an eight inch screen in the center, which has many, many possibilities. Audio, climate, phone, nav, apps, settings. It's a lot to play.
play with. I've spent probably half an hour with it, and I'm still not sure I've learned all the things that it can and can't do, but it is a ton of fun. I'm going to go ahead and switch to audio now. Here's $20. Go take yourself to the theater and see a story. As you can hear, it's just like, it does. <laughs> stereo system is awesome. It is AM, FM, CD, and Sirius XM as well. Beneath the stereo, we have controls for the climate. It is a dual zone climate control system, as you can see. It's easy to work. You can work it with the screen or you can work it with the buttons and knobs. It's up to you. You can see on the bottom row there are the icons for the heated and cooled seats in the front and for fan speed. To the right is a little box that opens up where you've got a 110 outlet and a 12 volt outlet. And on the other side, you've got your four-wheel drive controls and for your trailer backup. Very cool option to have. Inside the sink box, they call it down here, you see sink written across it. There's a place to put your phones and sync up to the system. Right there's your ports. Right there's a nice padded area for your phones to sit in. And if you just push on this again, it'll slide right back. Has a nice little theft cover to cover things over. The shifter, leather wrapped, leather boot, and on the side, you can see you can operate the shifting yourself if you put it in manual mode. In case you want to get feisty with it, have some fun, and you make the decisions, not the transmission, you can do that. There's a thin little caddy here for storage, a couple of cup holders, and on both sides, down in this area, there is a thin but plenty usable storage area as well. If you had just grabbed your mail, you could slide your mail there for the moment. Uh, but handy, just another place to keep things. They thought about a lot of that when they made this truck. Now we're going to take a look upward. Uh, lighted vanity mirrors on both sides, as one might expect in a vehicle of this caliber. Uh, we do have a Homelink style system here uh, with three buttons on it. Uh, you could use one for a garage door, one for a gate to get into your property, one for lights, security lights, or an alarm system. Uh, you can program them as you will, and they are plenty handy dandy. Just makes things easier than having three remotes in your car. This console controls a great number of things in the truck. So I'm gonna see if I can get some more light on it. First, we're gonna focus on the one that I just put the spotlight on. That is the control for the rear window. The rear window, I'm gonna get my hand on this. All right, there we go. Yes, that is what I just did. It's power and it slides and it's tinted and it's got defrost on it. How much cooler could it be than that? That's just awesome. There is also, a two-part moonroof. And we're gonna go ahead and use the controls up here to operate that as well. You can see first the shade goes back. And the top. And there's another button here for the shade. It's this one. And there it goes, the shade the rest of the way back. So as you can see, very, very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and shut all that at once here. And now if I hit this one. And hit it one more time to go the rest of the way. Perfect. And as you can see, there are map lights up there as well. So many great features on this truck. All right. Now I'm going to show you the back seat. Now I'm six foot tall and I had the seat sitting in a way that's perfect for me. Look at all of this leg room. It's uncanny how much leg room there is for your rear passengers. And these rear seats, 60-40, fold up. That's right, 60-40, fold up rear seats. They are leather. 
headrests. If there's no center passenger, you can fold that armrest down, push on the front of it. You've got extra cup holders. Not that you need them necessarily because there's cup holders here in the back of the center console where you'll also find vents, controls for the heated seats. We've got one 10 volt and 12 volt and See, there's the 12 volt. There's for your phones. And there's if you need a plug. Unbelievably convenient. And I want to show you just how much room there is. I'm sitting comfortably in this seat. I'm going to fold my legs. And I have all this room, a full span of my hand between my knee and the seat ahead of me. And that's a six foot tall guy in the back and a six foot tall guy in the front. It is a very roomy, <laughs> very well-appointed vehicle. Here's a view of the front from the rear seat. Looks just killer up there. What a vehicle, folks. I can't say enough good things about it. You truly have to see it in person to appreciate the level of quality that goes into building a car like this, truck like this. Uh, this is one heck of a vehicle right here. Shelby really did a number with this F-150 when they got their hands on it. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me give it one more little rev just for some excitement. Oh, you can hear that supercharger whine. Folks, feel free to give us a call here in Columbus, Ohio. We're at 614-276-7355. We're Cruising Classics, and we have this 2017 Ford F1 Shelby Super Snake 750 horsepower bad to the bone shadow black pickup truck and it is waiting for you to come and put in your own garage. Folks, give us a call. We'd love to answer any questions you have. Again, it's 614-276-7355 at Cruising Classics. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow with something else cool.